Hello everyone. I am Srishti Rajesh Divekar from Standard 10th Alibag branch and I am present here to give a short PPT on the topic carbon and hydrocarbon. So let's begin with the topic first carbon. So what is the carbon? Means what exactly the carbon is? Carbon is an element and it is a non-metal. Carbon symbol of carbon is denoted by C and the, the name of the carbon is derived from the Latin word carbo which means coal. We know that we have total 118 elements in the modern periodic table but today we are going to study about a specific element that is carbon. So the amount of carbon present in the earth crust and the atmosphere is very small that is only 0.02% of carbon is present in the earth's crust and the atmosphere contains only 0.03 carbon. But the carbon is present in every living being, in all the living being and the compounds that are based on the carbon are called as organic compounds. So occurrence of carbon. We have, start, we have now seen that what exactly the carbon is. Now let us study where can we find the carbon. Carbon occurs in both the state that are free state and combined state. The free state carbon occurs in two forms that is graphite and diamond. And in combined state we can find carbon in form of compounds such as carbon dioxide and carbonates and fossil fuels. The, the, the diamond and graphite are called as the allotropes of carbon. Allotropes means the single element that contains the same physical property but are found in different uh, elements. So let us see what are the allotropes of carbon. So allotropes. The first allotrope is the diamond. Diamond is very color. Diamond is a colorless, transparent, and shiny. But it is considered as the hardest natural substance. It does not conduct electricity, and it has the highest melting point of 3,500 degrees Celsius. As we consider it as the hardest natural substance, if we burn carbon in oxygen, only carbon dioxide gas is produced, and this property shows that. The diamond is made only of carbon. Diamond is used for jewellery and also in instruments like glass cutter. The uh, eye surgeons also use uh, diamond to remove the cataract from eyes. Here we can see the diamond and its structure. Now let us move to the another allotrope of carbon that is graphite. So opposite to uh, carbon, it, uh, opposite to the diamond is a graphite. So graphite is a grayish black opaque uh, substance while the diamond is a shiny and transparent. Graphite is a lighter than diamond and it is the good conductor of electricity where we find diamond is a bad conductor of electricity. Uses of graphite are powder graphite is used as a lubricants for fast moving parts of machinery and it is used for making electrodes in dry cell. Also making of uh, pencil leads in black in and also in black prints. Here we can see the structure and uh, structure of graphite and graphite. We have also studied in our standard that graphite rods are also used in the electrolysis of alumina. So let us move on the organic compounds. We know that uh, carbon compounds are called as organic compounds. There are total 118 elements and only the single carbon uh, and its compounds are called as organic compounds and whether all the 117 elements are classified and they are uh, and their compounds are called as inorganic compounds but in this now we are going to study only about the organic compounds so carbon compounds are called as organic compounds and they have covalent compounds and low melting points and boiling points and they are non-conductors of electricity but exception is the graphite because graphite is the good conductor of electricity. To study of these compounds is called as organic chemistry and there are more, uh, more than 500 million organic compounds. Now let us study uh, about the uh, properties of the organic compounds. First is the catenation power, self-linking and tetravalency, four valency. We know that one, di, tri and tetra. Tetra means four valency. So catenation power, what exactly the catenation power is? It is a self-linking. Uh, 
carbon atoms can link with the another uh, another by means of the covalent bonds to form the long chains of carbon atom this property of carbon compound is called as catenation power or self linking because of this property the carbon compounds is responsible exists, uh, for the existence of large number of organic compounds about the uh, after this after this we will study about the tetravalency valency of the carbon is 4 and it is very huge so uh, the so the tetravalency is also responsible for existence of the large number of organic compounds so let us move to the another topic for day that is hydrocarbons the hydrocarbons itself state that hydrogen plus carbon equals to hydrocarbons the compounds that are made up of hydrogen and carbon are called as hydrocarbons and the most important natural source of hydrocarbons is petroleum so we can obtain hydrocarbons from the petroleum that is crude oil this is uh, this is obtained by burning the or melting the uh, petroleum crude oil in the furnace at very high temperature and then obtaining the layers of e uh, methane gas then ethane gas and propane and butane etc now these hydrocarbons are segregated into the two different hydrocarbons the first one is the saturated hydrocarbon and the second one is the unsaturated hydrocarbons let us study about the saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons So here are the saturated hydrocarbons. The saturated hydrocarbons are known as the alkanes. This means that the hydrocarbons which has the carbon atoms and that are connected only by the single bond are called as the saturated hydrocarbons and they are also known as the alkanes. Here is the general formula for the alkanes that is CnH2n+2. The n can be one, two, or three carbon atoms. And here are some examples of the methane and ethane. Always look upon to the methane and ethane whenever whenever we are writing or uh, drawing the structure of the alkane. There must be a single bond, and the name will will end with A N E initials. That is methane or ethane. So let us move toward the another. To, uh, another part of the hydrocarbons that is unsaturated hydrocarbons so there are uh, two types of unsaturated hydrocarbons that are alkenes and alkynes the hydrocarbons of uh, in which the carbon atom is uh, is connected by the double bond are called as alkenes and triple bond are called as alkynes so uh, the hydrocarbons with the double bonds are alkenes and hydrocarbons with the triple bonds are alkynes and the general formula of alkene is cnh2n and general formula for alkyne is cnh2n minus 2 here we can refer for the example the structure of ethene and ethyne Uh, by using the formula we can form the structures and also we should remember that while writing the name the initials uh, we should use uh, when we are writing about the double bond we should use e n e uh, after the ethene and uh, y n e after the ethyne if we are considering that triple bond in the following compound so we have studied about the saturated hydrocarbons and unsaturated hydrocarbons and their chain form which is the chain uh, which is the straight chain now we will see and look upon to the cyclic compounds of saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons these are same as that but they are in form of cyclic structure so structure of cyclo cyclobutane and cyclopentane we can see here and benzene also the benzene is the unsaturated and these two are saturated benzene is also called as the aromatic hydrocarbon so let us move to the last topic for the day which is isomers the organic compounds have the same molecular formula same structure but the different structures are known as isomers the isomers is possible only with the hydrocarbons having four or more carbon atoms no isomers is possible in the methane ethane or propane because they contains only one two or three carbon atoms the examples of iso uh, isomers is butane and is also isobutane we can observe in this diagram that this is the straight chain of butane and isobutane here is a branch chain we, uh, the structure of this are different but the molecular formula uh, are same that is here are also we can see there are four carbon atoms and here are two four carbon atoms thank you